Hi, I'm William Tenholder, and I welcome you to my 4000 series. Uh, it's the Masters, and you know, we love a great challenge. We love a great game that displays all of the talents of the players. And so you're going to find that in this game. In this game, there are so many. You know, we've got the new modern opening perk. Uh, you know, style defense and, you know, traditional white opening. And so the game goes along, you know, pretty, I would say, standard, you know. We've got attacks. And then we have, uh, you know, positional attacks. Uh, but, you know, this is where the game really starts to, you know, warm up. And uh, then it gets hot. Yeah, it's a beautiful opening for black. The three pawns, I love that. And so now it really forces white pieces to come up with something. We were able to uh, make some inroads and we have a few attacks now we move on to the white queen attack which is pretty effective so um, we have to you know really uh, sometimes you have to think about uh, you know do you let the knight uh, do you let the queen in i was thinking in this case uh, let the queen take the pawns and open up the files for an attack on the king. So this was my plan. Uh, let the queen take the pawns. Because I'm going to, you know, put all the barrels down that uh, HG and F file. And uh, you'll see how that works out. It's a, a pretty good plan, you know. Give up a few pawns. Uh, in this case, I decided to force the queen trade. And um, with eyes on developing a little further. So it becomes a really incredible strategic game. And uh, so there are some threats from the doubled rooks. And, you know, there are a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of tricks that can be made here and uh, at this point black is locking up so we're locking up the king side uh, in order to attack the white queen king side so we've got a total lock now uh, there's nothing they can do their rooks are useless uh, so you know we um, take advantage of a few you might uh, might have noticed that we had the pin, uh, but you know, uh, really we just were ready to attack, and so attack we did, and so you'll see that this leads to a possible checkmate. It goes pretty quick. But, uh, you know, there's the brilliant move of the knight, you know, getting to the F4, then getting to H, um, yeah, it was H3, right? Yeah. So uh, H3 uh, for the knight, and now there's uh, quite a control position for black. And the thing to be careful about... Uh, and I'll admit I'm, I shouldn't have missed this. The uh, rook is pinning, the white rook is uh, pinning the um, b6 pawn. So what I needed to do really is to move. Um, however, I think I, I did think it out and I decided to stay put and continue on with the attack. Uh, black attack on the white king. 
And so there is a point here where we can achieve checkmate. So we, we, we pulled a really nice uh, trade there. We gave up the knight. Uh, we're going to take the rook. And then we're now in a position for about a three or four move checkmate. Um, see if you can spot it. Um, they come in uh, for their little attack. At this point, we totally have the game under control. It is a matter of check the king. And the uh, rook on g6 just needs to slide over to h file. And you end up with a three-move checkmate. Three or four moves. But uh, uh, the king is going to be trapped um, on all the files. Um, we just can't let go of the pawn. The pawn on uh, e6 uh, uh, means the king cannot escape. So we just have to make sure we hold on to that. And the way to do that is just move the rook over to the H file and uh, then prepare the attack. So you, you can see now uh, the king moves over to, um, you know, that file uh, uh, would be the um, third file. So now uh, we need, simply need to do the Slippery little attack, slide the rook over to h file. Then we've got check. Oh, actually checkmate. Yeah. So in this case, there's a two move checkmate. And uh, they have a yeah, they have a a knight to defend. So yeah, it's it's tricky, but. Uh, yeah, what a great game. What a great game. And uh, Black has, you know, total control. Uh, great winning chances here. I'm William Tenholder. Hope you enjoyed this uh, high-level game.